hello everyone monica here with another video um i hope you're doing well today and um i kind of wanted to follow up on the um kind of like a series that i started of my handbag collection and i'm doing it in groups by brand so i did fendi and now i'm doing lv so um hello to everybody and for those of you that are subscribed welcome back to my channel for those of you that have never been here before welcome thank you so much for um coming to my channel and watching my videos i would really um love it and appreciate it if you all can subscribe and yeah so thank you for joining so okay so i actually thought i had more um lv bags than what i actually have um i don't know because so i started kind of um, my my luxury collection i kind of started with lv and um i kind of bought a few and then i thought like i need to stop because i think i have too many but you know it's looking at my handbags you know i have like four or five to be honest with you i had more i thought which is a good quantity but you know i just thought for some reason i had more anyways so i'm rambling so let's just get into the video so I'm gonna start with um, my first LV purchase, and that is the um, oh, I just drew a blank. Never full MM in the Damier Azure. Um, believe it or not, the Damier Azure is actually my favorite print. I think of all the LV prints, and um, I knew when I went to the store, I bought this at. Um, Saks at the LV store inside Saks in Atlanta and I I knew that I wanted I knew hands down that I wanted the Damier Azure um and um and I kind of went back and forth between the um the Speedy or the um, Neverfull at the time I don't think they had the Speedy Bandolier just yet so yeah so i went with this and since this was back in like 2012 maybe 2011 um they didn't have the ones with the pouch so this one doesn't have the pouch i have some stuff in it and as you all know it's got you know the one zipper pocket and that's what it looks like and i'm sure you're all familiar with it and i've used it quite a bit it's patina pretty good and uh, I've taken it to the beach. I've laid it on the sand. I mean, it's been everywhere with me. I've taken a lot of trips. And I mean, I think it's holding up pretty good to have it all these years. I mean, I think I got it in, I'm pretty sure I got it in early 2012. Okay, so my second LV bag that I got was the, um, around the same time, I think it was in 2012. I got the um, Eva Clutch in the Damia Ebin print. So again, I went back and forth between the Damia Azure or the Damia Ebin. Um, since I had the Damia Azure, um, never full, I wanted to have something in the brown print. So I went ahead and got this. And here's the straps that comes with it. And as you all know, it's red in the inside. Um, I haven't used this. A whole lot uh, to be honest with you the past two years I probably used it one time last year or maybe one time this year I don't even think I've used it this year but when I first got it back in like 2012 I used the crap out of this bag I mean I used it like every week and that's what it looks like as you all know it's got the, I love this um this plate here um and it's got the chain and most of the time what i do is that i use it cross body and i just kind of hang the chain on one side and i just kind of let it hang like that and i just use the cross body strap i did use this once uh for a wedding when my one of my best friends got married back up north i had to travel up to new york to go to her wedding and i actually used this that's my bag for the wedding and I used it just like this with the um, chain but I normally don't use the chain so that's my second bag that I have the Eva clutch and I think you all know this is now discontinued they no longer make this 
but you can always find it in the um pre-love market um okay i think okay so i have okay so i have this bag right here this is i don't know if this was a third the third lv bag i got or not but i did get this uh, pre-loved and um i used it quite a bit and um i guess this is the this is like the pochette accessoire accessoire of um the the multicolor print and as you all know it comes with the little leather strap with the little studs on it i have not used it a whole lot i used it a handful of times um i've had it for about three years now maybe four yeah and i have actually passed this on to my daughter i think she used it once um but i just kind of this pretty much stays in her room and i just kind of borrowed it from her to show you all as part of the collection um she doesn't use it either i think she used it one time but she keeps it in her room and because i gave it to her but yeah this is my this is the only multicolor um piece that i have in the house um okay so i don't know which one i got first i don't know if i got the um the um never full the next number full that i'm going to show you or if i got the um the speedy bandolier i don't know which order i got which one but i'll just show you all this is my um my speedy b25 um i mostly use it um crossbody i got this at fashion file and when i got this speedy um it said it was in excellent condition um to be honest with you guys this this was like immaculate like this was brand spanking new it came with everything it came with the box it came it came with the dust bag it came with the receipt it came you know the original purchase receipt it came with all the tickets and all the tags and the ribbon and i was pretty surprised um this is from the later edition so it has a zipper pocket inside it's you know it's got the red interior um and this bag actually at the time that i got it a couple of years ago it was retailing for like 12.50 and i think i got it for like 11.50 which was insane because all the bags all these kind of bags were like in this kind of condition where way above retail at, and pre owned markets at fashion file and for some reason they had this one like a hundred dollars below retail and i feel like i really made out because it's just it, it was just immaculate i used the crap out of this bag it's my most used bag for the past two years i use it just about every week and i don't have any issues with it like i said it came with everything um this is just i like to put stuff on my bags um, i don't know how you guys feel about it i have a couple of friends that feel like putting these kind of things on luxury handbags makes them look cheap but i just like to have stuff on my bags this is from um hrh collection this neon chain and this is um a little uh actual fur a bunny rabbit and this is like a little keychain thing it it's not from lv it just kind of like a dupe and this came from um modern vintage man vintage vintage modern madness madness um i'll try to link her website below but this is and this is probably my favorite bag like i said i always use it crossbody but i got this one in my next never full the same year i just forget which one i got first but i got a really good deal on this one um okay so my next bag is another never full also in an mm size um the gm is too big for me i don't i don't you know it's just too big for me i'm like sure i'm like five feet tall and like and like short so you know it's like too big for me and then the small of the pm size i just find it too small so 
um i like the mm size so i got it this one also came from fashion file um the condition on this bag was new and i probably got it uh, within retail price if I remember correctly um, the only thing was that it didn't come with like the box and the dust bag and all the stuff but I don't care but the condition on it was new and it was new um, there was like the vaquera was completely untouched there was no um, it was like completely brand new and as you all know this one is from the later edition so this one actually comes with the little pochette that comes inside uh so it even came with that because i know a lot of bags people i know a lot of people buy this bag that comes with this and then they sell this separately um uh, but this one can complete with um the push the little insert pochette you know wristlet thing and i mean it's I have some stuffing inside but i mean i just got some dirt on it but it's just immaculate and i've used this quite a bit not as much as i use my uh, demi azor believe it or not probably because when i got it since the condition it said new and the vaquera was completely untouched i kind of feel like i don't really want to use it that much but i have and i do have it in front of kind of like not right in front of a window but you know my window like shines on it and i think a lot of the vaquera is is um it's because of the just sitting in front of a window um not so much from use per se but it's um it was immaculate condition and it still is um but i don't use it as much as i use my demi azor um and as far as the demi azor i don't feel like that's just a um a summer bag i use it all year round um okay so that's it that's it about um as far as um lv handbags but i did want it to include um my mini pochette i know this is more like an slg and uh, i know that i said i was gonna do a separate slg video but i just wanted to include this because it's just like a little purse to me and i carry quite a bit in it and this is like my catch-all and it pretty most pretty much goes inside all my bags um but yeah i got this my boyfriend gave me this for christmas i think two christmas ago and i love this thing this is probably so tiny and so cute and this is probably my favorite of all my lv items um i'm gonna show you all one more thing i know this is not a handbag this is definitely slg slg yes small little good yes um but i do have the um agenda and them yet being in the pm size and i know a lot of guys are like the pm is just too small you can write anything on it but i love it because it's so compact i have very small handwriting and it, it works for what i need to do with it and um i'm able to put it in pretty much any bag i was even carrying it in this small chanel because it fits in it um i don't always have the um lv pages but for 2019 i actually got the lv pages and you know they had like all the little different things on them and they got like stickers they came with decals and stickers and stuff which i haven't even used um i just went on the lv website and i was looking for the ones for 2020 but i didn't see them on the website yet so these are the ones for this year so i keep my um checkbook in here on the back and some stickers and this i got from etsy i think it's like a little bookmark um and i just put some things there on the front some paper clips and things and i have this small pen this uh, my melody you know a little twin star pen that i use because it fits it's really tiny and it fits there but yeah i write my whole life on here so um i love it i'm really happy with it um i got this also at fashion file so i know that wasn't a handbag but i just wanted to show you all that so that's it for my lv collection um so I have one, two, three, four, five handbags, not including this and not including the agenda. So yeah, so I hope you all enjoy my collection. Let me know if um, 
if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments down below um, I think the next um, part to this series that I'm gonna do is probably gonna be my Chanel handbag collection and then after that um, I have some like random Dior, Gucci, Givenchy so I might compile all those into one because it's like one bag of each um, and then I might do an SLG collection after that. Um, you'll let me know what you want to see first. So, um, yeah. So that's it for this. Um, I don't think I have any more. No, I don't have any more um, OV bags. But I think that's a good bunch. And um, thank you all for watching. Thank you for um, coming back to my channel. Once again, for those of you that haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you do. I would love to have you in my channel. Tell your friends about my channel because I'm really trying to grow it. And um, that's it. I have, uh, wish you all a great day. And I hope to see you all again soon. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.